We're back here at the NRA National Firearms Museum here at NRA headquarters. I'm with Phil Schreier, senior curator of the NRA National Firearms Museums. And Phil has snuck down to the vault today, which I love. I love when I heard that here. I love that vault downstairs you got, Phil, and brought up some treasures from the vault to share with all you folks here on Sportsman Channel here on Curator's Corner. What do you have there, Phil? An, a a fine-looking double-barrel shotgun. Tell us about it. it it's a uh, Fox Model B. Uh, this is a part of the Fox Savage uh, line of, uh, of shotguns. Uh, you know, it's just a standard side-by-side. -side. Uh, but the neat thing about this is what's engraved in the stock. Uh, it says NRA test mm. and uh, you'll see that as you go through the galleries uh, on a number of different guns especially guns in our World War One World War two gallery uh, they have this NRA test stamped into the uh, into the stock and it kind of tells a little bit of a story about the museum uh, back in 1871 when the NRA was founded uh, we were a marksmanship you know, oriented uh, association geared towards holding matches and increasing competition and, and marksmanship skill throughout the armed services and, and the civilian population. Uh, by 1874, we had entered a number of international matches and actually right. won a rifle. Mm -hmm. That became the first gun in the collection. In fact, we'll see uh, a Remington rolling block. I might pull one out of the vault for you for next week. Oh. Uh, but that was the first gun in the collection was Remington Rolling Block. Uh, for the next 64 years, uh, the NRA prospered uh, and began uh, a magazine, which in 1923 was renamed uh, American Rifleman. And uh, the American Rifleman uh, back then was published twice a month, mm. uh, interestingly enough. Uh, they began to collect firearms uh, for evaluation and testing and in the publications vault at NRA headquarters which back then was the old bar building in downtown Washington right at, at, uh, at Farragut Square uh, they built quite a little collection of guns that industry would send them that they would hope would be evaluated and tested and written up in a positive manner within the pages of the magazine uh, so 64 years after the association was founded in 1935, they decided to open a museum to house a lot of these guns and display them. And that's how the National Firearms Museum came to be. Next year, we celebrate our 80th anniversary. Get out. 80 years as of that's next year. Awesome. And you'll see NRA test, which means it came from the publications division collection. Wow. Obviously, this gun wasn't made 1935 you know for the opening of the museum uh, didn't come from that original collection but it was brought into the collection later on as the publications collection continued to grow That's uh, awesome. so a very neat uh, little uh, backstory to some of the guns that are on the walls in the museum you'll see that on the stock you'll know that that came from uh, publications and NRA continues that fine tradition today check out any of the publications the, the, the hard copy or online, uh, the great evaluations and, and great look at firearms. It's a, it's a great way to, to get a first look at a new firearm or see a classic firearm. And, and, and being here behind the scenes with you guys so much, I see both down on the range and up here in the museum, how you guys all work together on that and, and really get that very important aspect of, of the National Rifle Association, continue that fine, that fine tradition. So that's Thank great. You. So get out here, okay? I want, this is your assignment. When you get out to the museum, and Phil will tell you how to do that in a minute, I, I want you to write down how many of them you can find that say NRA test. We'll do it like a <laughs> scavenger hunt. There you go. <laughs> so how can folks come and see that engraving on a firearm like that here somewhere in the museum? Well, you can come <laughs> and visit us right here in Fairfax, Virginia. We're open uh, seven days a week, 9.30 to 5. And uh, we're right off the interstate, uh, Route 66, and intersection at Route 50. Uh, if you can't visit us off the interstate, visit us on the internet uh, at nramuseums.com and you'll be able to not only see what's here in Fairfax, uh, but also get a glimpse at the NRA Sporting Arms Museum in Springfield, Missouri, which is also open seven days a week. At the Bass Pro World Headquarters, the mothership there. Absolutely. Awesome. So remember your assignment now. Get out there and see how many, whether online or here at the museums, you can find it, say, NRA test on them. 
and Phil and I will figure out some sort. It'll be a fabulous prize. Maybe lunch with Phil Schreier and I at the NRA Cafe when you're out here. That could be a good prize, right? We'll let them buy. Yeah, perfect. Phil, awesome. Great idea. We'll be back with more Treasures from the Vault on Curator's Corner here on Sportsman Channel, NRA News Cam and Company. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, John. <laughs>